guys it's Colette welcome back to my channel if you're an oldie and a goodie or um, if you're new here um, I hope you'll stay and um, be part of the community because we have a lovely little community here um, I've just thought of something so I came online um, because I'm very aware that my spirit guide White Storm has been around me since birth those of you that have read my memoirs of a clairvoyant by Colette Brown will know his story with me or my story with him um, but I'm aware that so many people would like to know more about their spirit guides and um, want to connect with the spirit guide um, and they don't know where to begin and they maybe hope that the spirit guide will start showing themselves or whatever so I would like to give you one thing to do to encourage connection with your spirit guide and a few wee extras after it. But just one thing that will help your spirit guide know you're ready to communicate and connect with them, to understand them, to grow with them, to know their knowledge and their wisdom. Just one wee thing. Ask them. A lot of people don't realise that everything we do is kind of um, a connection that works both ways. Ask your spirit guides to communicate with you. And I've said this to many people and they've looked at me blankly like, what do you mean ask? I've said sit down, have your meditation space or enjoy um, some quiet time in nature and in your own way say, you know, spirit guides, I believe you're round about me and I would love to connect with you. I would love... To have that communication that builds and that grows and that I can work with you and honour you. Please start to show yourself now. I am ready for you. The time is right. I've waited so long. Now please start to manifest in ways that I can recognise. And in that way you're saying to them, hello. I'm here, you're there, <laughs> talk to me, be with me, I'm ready, you're most welcome, come in, <laughs> do you see what I mean? Most people wonder about, sort of think, oh a spirit guy's going to jump down a tube and, you know, be there for me or I'm going to start saying oh, lots of numbers and this, that and the next thing and it never goes any further than that. Because they simply don't ask for that communication. So in general, you could make it as a, an asking, maybe every morning. Um, you could make it as part of a little ritual. And you could be very welcoming and show that you're ready for the spirit guide by maybe smudging and purifying your home or your aura. Um, starting to think, I wonder what the spirit guide could look like, where they're from, maybe what culture. Start opening up your head to all these things. Um, make your own inner self as consciously aware as you can by being present in the moment, by being mindful of the moment and by not being overly stressed or trying to do 10 things at one time. Live simply, live gently, make space for your guide to come into because if you've no space, if you're busy from the first breath you take in the morning when you're waking up till your tired, sore head hits the pillow at night, do you really think the spirit guide's going to say, you know, she has room for me at the moment? 
there's a nice space in her life that I can move into and teach and be a friend and be a mentor. No, 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 that's not the way this happens. So make your life accessible to your guides and enjoy it. So let me know what you think of that. Um, one thing to do to encourage connection with your spirit guide, guides is to simply ask them to be there. Many blessings now. Bye.